All right, this is a method originally demonstrated by Pixel Maker in a German language video. I'm making a similar demonstration in English just because I feel like helping out a little bit. Anyway, this is a method for taking a uh, JPEG and creating an outline or other type of image file. I'm actually going to use a bitmap. Uh, this only works with black and white. That's monochrome images, you know, black image on a white background. But sometimes it can be quite handy for getting um, uh, 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 line drawings of a, an image file. What you do is you draw a surface from a bitmap and then you select a black and white image file. If you notice this one's a color version of this one. It's because I edited it and saved it as, mono as a monochrome bitmap file. And then you figure out what you want your overall width to be. In this case, say four inches. And we'll leave Y at zero so that it scales automatically. And then we'll set how often we want to increment on each axis for Creating for for figuring out our surface. We're creating a surface first. We're actually creating a 3D model, but it's not the type of 3D model you might think. Then we'll set a height of one inch, or maximum of one inch, and a minimum of zero, and create the surface. We can close this now, and it looks like we just have a big image of it, but we really don't. What we have is a 3D surface that's at two layers with black at one level and uh, white at the other level. Alright. Now I'm not going to do it exactly the same way that Pixel Maker did it. I'm going to do it a little bit differently because this is actually a variation of something I do for creating boundary outline shapes for mold making. I'm going to go into Edit surface, silhouette, and I'm setting it for a slice width and silhouette of two inches. So it's all basically only going to take the surface and then nothing else, or it might pick up the bottom. Anyway, and we're going to click OK, and then we're going to sit here for a little while and let uh, CamBam do its thing while we hope and pray that it works. Notice my message here while CamBam is doing its thing. It's hope and pray time. Sometimes it is. If you're working with a rather complex 3D model, it can run out of memory instead of finishing the job. All right. Now we can just take the, the surface that we created from the bitmap and we can delete it. And if we look here, we have the outline that we picked up and then we have the rectangle of the overall thing. And then if we wanted to set that down on the surface of Z at zero, we just go up here and we, or we go here, we hit transform, align, we make no changes to X and Y unless we need to, and then we center Z, and boom, all of your lines are at Z equals zero. And we now have a line drawing of what was originally a JPEG image file. You can select these lines and engrave them, you can profile them, you can make pockets, you can do whatever makes you happy at this point. 